I need to make sure there's not a goddamn moose in the freaking backyard or something. Daddy. Regular daycares around here are good, like sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred dollars a month. How do you feel about a man coming up to your wife? That's your fault. You had a wedding ring on. time for a long time because I'm always waking up super early like around seven o'clock and I haven't been in bed like this in forever I just want to stay in bed forever no I don't I'm just joking but I just want to stay in bed for like a while my body doesn't want to wake up yet and Jericho's still sleeping Corey is playing a game I need to get my butt up and drink some coffee look at these dark circles though Jeez, I'm super excited to be vlogging again. I was so happy to edit yesterday. It's like, ugh, you know, when my camera broke and I wasn't doing vlogs for you guys, and obviously I didn't have a cell phone either. I, it was just like a piece of my life was taken away from me, if that makes any sense, because I do this every single day and I love to do it. So I felt a little like empty. I just felt really like blah throughout the day. I didn't feel like doing anything, and it's just like, it brought me down. Because I love this, you guys, and I love you guys. Anyways, let's get our day started. I'm going to make myself some coffee so I can get myself up. I need to work out today. I cannot slack on that. And um, I'll probably do that when the kids are napping. Or I should probably get it in now since Jericho's sleeping. Let me get my butt up. So for the past few weeks, Alaska's weather has been so freaking awesome. All the roads have been thawed. There's no icy roads. Like, I felt really good driving in the road. I felt like I was like a speed racer. I'm just kidding. Anyways, but it was awesome. And I would go outside with like sweaters and stuff. And now, look at this crap. It's snowing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's snowing. All that snow that's right here, that's been there since like October, September, whatever. But it was thawing. And this, there was no snow down here. And now we have snow again, which is disappointing. But you know what? I'm not even going to complain because this winter has been the warmest winter ever. Um, even like me living in New York, this winter was like warmer than New York's winter. Spring is around the corner and I feel like this year has been going by so fast. This is already the beginning of our second year here. So by the end of this year, we have already completed uh, two years here in Alaska and then we have one more year if that makes any sense. We're leaving 2018. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent right now. Let me stop blabbing and get to my workout. Today I'm doing Pilates. So let's get it. out like 30 minutes ago and I just made myself some breakfast I made myself some egg whites with um, chicken basil pesto sausage onions spinach and then I have a side of apples with peanut butter and blueberry let me show you guys this goodness so if it looks a little yellow it's because I got a tiny bit of yolk in there but this is four egg whites and a tiny bit of yolk like I said and it is looking scrumptious you guys and then this is my apples with peanut butter and blueberries bon appetit i got my water here i already chugged the whole thing before i drank this and now i'm gonna fill it up again and i'm watching vlogs this is alex denman he is awesome go check him out and tell him that i sent you so my neighbor always leaves her gate open right and like if i leave if i let casey out she can go basically go out of the gate and run away or something whatever anyways so she left the gate open before and i saw some weird like footprints um on the snow one day 
and I haven't seen them since. This was probably like three weeks ago. And since it snowed yesterday and today, there's obviously snow on the ground. And I see these footprints once again. If you guys are from Alaska or if you guys are like awesome researchers or whatever, let me know what footprints these are because I don't know what the hell they are. And it's kind of weird. Let me show you guys. I need to make sure there's not a goddamn moose in the freaking backyard or something. Jeez. Do you guys see that? Like, what the hell is that? Look, like, what is that? I do not know. Can you let me try to walk a little more? I do not know what that is, you guys. And there's more over here. And then, like, walking. Oh my god, look at this. I have to get those on. Walking out, there's a uh, footprint. It, it, it's not like regular human footprints and Casey's barking like what the heck is that obviously that's a footprint but like what is that though it's lunch time my pookie he's he's blowing his food I made some tater tots and pizza rolls and here's Corey do you like the food what did you say when I gave it to you mm -hmm. what did you say I said yum no you said it already tastes good and he hadn't even tasted it is here. Or that, right? Yeah, eat your food. Oh. Okay, or well, keep blowing it. And then this is my lunch. I have some cod, some French style green beans, and some spinach. And I just added onions and garlic to that. So, bon appetit. So, once that it just came, because the other day that she came, she left a few things here. And we just got to talk. I haven't seen her in a little bit, like, I don't know, probably a week. So I miss her when I hang out with her. Um, anyways, but right now I'm cleaning. I had to send the boys upstairs to take a nap, even though Jerick was knocking on the door. But they were just all over the place, making a huge mess. And obviously I'm cleaning now. They're going to make a mess later. But i rather it be clean. I don't like to see my house messy. The thing about having kids is, like, you clean, you clean, you clean. And it's still gonna get messy but I'd rather clean than just have double the mess or triple the mess I don't know if you guys heard that but that's Jericho growling <laughs> anyways let me clean look at this though the camera doesn't do it any justice these snowflakes are ginormous and the table has snow all over it again that's when we cleaned this off right here we got snow again but it looks really beautiful can't even front. Husband! Dad! Ooh, it is dark. Dad! Good? Yeah. 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 yeah, he wants to jump on you. What is this, Daddy? What is this, Daddy? What is this, Daddy? Daddy! Yes? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was ready. He was ready to go. Oh. Daddy. Uh, what are you eating? He tried to eat me. How was your day? A good day? Daddy, I'm practicing basketball. You are? Yes. You still get work for it. I like <laughs> work hard and play hard. Exactly. So I just got out of Walmart and I was putting my stuff away in the trunk. And some guy approached me, just basically trying to talk to me or whatever. And I thought I looked like a hot mess. I mean, look at me. I always feel so bad when guys try to talk to me. One, because it takes like balls to go up to a girl and be like, yo, you know, it was really good, whatever. And he seemed like he was shy, like, hey, how are you? And he was going to give me his hand to like shake it. But I don't know, I don't really like shaking people's hands. So I like kind of pretending like I didn't see. I was like, hey, you know, he's like, oh, are you from here? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, I just don't want to waste your time, but like I'm married. I'm not even wearing my wedding ring. If it was like a F boy, you know, those guys who like give no Fs, he would be like, oh, so where's your wedding ring? Where's your wedding ring? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. And then he w walked away. But anyways, I just came out of Walmart and you guys, it hurts me to come out of Walmart sometimes because of how much I spend. And this is like things that we needed because I always go to the commissary and to Sam's Club and uh, Walmart for whenever we do like sh our shopping or whatever. And I didn't get to go yesterday and I just went to Walmart. I mean, I just went to Sam's Club and to the commissary yesterday and we spent 200 and 
$90. And then today we came to Walmart. I had to get uh, some guy staring at me because I'm vlogging. He thinks I'm probably pointing it at him, but I'm pointing it at myself. Anyways, but so today I had to get gifts for the girls because we have a party on Friday and a party on Sunday. And then I had, I just got things that we needed because I wanted to get, I wanted to make a cheesecake and banana pudding. And I had to get like a whole bunch of stuff that we needed for the house. And I uh, spent three, uh, three hundred. Oh, hey, I don't know, a hundred and thirty, which is four hundred and something dollars. I don't know my math. Um, four hundred and forty dollars spent doing groceries. Like, oh, I need to start working, you guys. But it's so hard to work out here because one, I would be working for daycare. Daycare out here, you guys, like for on base, is um eight eight hundred dollars, I believe, a month. And it's like a year and a half waiting list. Regular daycares around here are good, like sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred dollars a month. Like, what the heck? That's another freaking apartment, another house. Because our house is basically that much. And yeah, that's just so like expensive. And then <sighs> I could do overnight, but then I have to uh, like I I wouldn't be able to nap throughout the day because I have to be with Jericho because he's all over the place, and then I have to worry about Corey picking up Corey from like the bus stop and stuff. Oh, you guys, this is just a headache. Um, so I need to find something at home. Like I need to comment below and let me know if any things that I could do from home. I tried the beach body stuff. I'm not gonna do that stuff. Not for nothing. I'm not bashing but I'm bashing. <laughs> they just would take my money left and right and it was just really annoying. So I'm not going to do that anymore. And I don't want to do any like fitness coach type of thing. So comment below anything else that you guys would recommend for me to do at home because my mommy needs to make some cash. There's so much money being spent and I just want to help my honey with, you know, our expenses and with our family, of course. Anyways, uh, let me leave this parking lot and go home. So I just calculated how much 290 and 130 was, which is basically what I spent yesterday and today. And it's 420. I don't know why I said 440. That goes to show you that I need to go back to school. And math was not my favorite subject, if you can tell at all. I. So you're talking to, yeah, okay. He was just talking his little butt off to Desmond. Well, I didn't say anything. Mommy said something. Knock you out. Right here. Mm. <laughs> that's not nice. Say, that's not nice. I get his work. I get his work. Two of them. One, two. Oh, oh. One, two. Get him, Jericho. Get him. One, two. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Look at what you started. Really? He's, babe, so some people were like, why he's not saying bye? I don't want to say bye. <laughs> just kidding. They're like, they know, he, he knows we missed him. We just want him to say bye. And then with this daylight saving stuff. I forgot to mention to you, um, when I was packing the stuff and drunk, some guy came up to me. I thought he was going to rob me, sweetheart. Like He came up to me like, at least smile if you're going gonna to try to talk to me. He, looked, he he was walking up to me, and I was like parked far, so I'm like, why is he coming close to me? And then he goes, hey, um, I just came over here because I think you're beautiful. And, I, and then he's like having, trying to have small talk with me. How do you feel about a man coming up to your wife? That's your fault. You had a wedding ring on. But how you feel about it? What if I have my wedding ring but on? But you didn't have the wedding ring on. It's happened before with my wedding but ring But you on. didn't have the wedding ring on. So it's partially your fault. You wanted this to happen. What? No, you can't get up in there. Huh? What? Why did you Look at him. Right in front of his daddy. This is crack. Yes, I see his crack. No, get up. So just in case you guys want to know what I got at Walmart, I got some bananas, some yogurt, strawberries, lemon, tomatoes, cucumber, a bread, two eggs, some wipes, grapes from Sam's Club. I got the boys a toothpaste and Desmond toothpaste and razors, but he took them upstairs already. I got Jericho a whole bunch of milk right here. 
And then I got myself this um, drawing pad right here. And of course I got the girls their um, presents. What dirty you guys, that shit is a lot. It doesn't even seem like I got a lot, but anyways that's groceries for you anyways you guys i'm gonna end the vlog right here it is currently 11 28 and i have just been like really sleepy yeah and by the way for those of you who like i don't know feel some type of way that desmond is like i guess rude i, I call him rude but i'm just playing around with him because i know he's tired and i understand why he doesn't want to be on the camera but for those of you who don't understand why he doesn't want to be on the camera it's because he's been tired you guys and he just he's just like doesn't want to be on the camera he has been doing a lot he is going to college and working his little tail off in the army and for those of you who are in the military you know how that goes so yeah anyways that's my boo though so of course i gotta stand up for my boo okay I'm watching Little Woman LA. I think this is actually going to keep me up. You see? I'm just blabbing now. Anyways, I said I was going to end the vlog. I'm ending the vlog. I love you guys so much. I have a game tomorrow, so I don't know if my family is going to the game. Hopefully they do. So Desmond can record. Hopefully I do really good. Wish me luck, you guys. Anyways, love you guys so much. Please like this video and please subscribe to our channel. And you guys will see us mañana. Peace out.